Hey folks, how you doing? This is Paul. I'm going to give you a little quick lesson and un let you understand why um, we are literally gods. And it's not just me. It's a lot of people here in America and why the British are now beginning to learn, beginning to appreciate this game and uh, understand what makes you a god when you watch this game. Now, this is a little talky, but it's important you know because it will make you two a god. Number six here is the punter. Now, the punter comes on after failure. It represents failure. The punter comes on when your offense, the team that has the ball, cannot promote the ball through passing and running uh, for 10 yards. And when that happens, you failed. And instead of taking a chance on your fourth try to get that full 10 yards that you need for a first down, in other words, a repeat of downs, um, they send on a punter, which punts the ball far down the other side of the field so that you retard the opposition's place on the field. And what this punter is trying to do is he's trying to angle this into the corner for what they call a coffin corner kick. Now, here's the rules. The rules are... Sorry about that, folks. Here's the rules for this. There, you can see the snap right there. <coughs> the punter could actually run the ball if he wanted to. He could pass the ball. The problem is, if it fails and he does not get the 10 yards, then the other team will get the ball at the point of failure. And that looks like it's already around the midfield. So the other team would already be in really good field opportunity. So what they're going to do is they're going to punt. The punter is not the kicker. The kicker is the one who kicks the ball through this field goal right here. And he does kickoffs. This is not a kickoff. This is a punt. It represents failure. What they do is this punter is looking to put this into the left corner because here's the rules. You can see the return man. There's the return man right there. You can see him. Uh, you can see the return man right there. He's waiting to, to catch it and then run back and try to get a touchdown. Now, this is complicated, but worth knowing. Here are the rules. The rules are, if that ball rolls on the field, then it is a live ball, meaning that the uh, other team, the team that kicks it cannot recover it for possession. That means if the other team, if this team in the white goes down and tries to get the ball, they're not entitled to keep it. They can't have a, a change of possession. They can't keep the ball. Uh, once you punt the ball, uh, the rules state that it is now the other team's ball, even if you get to that ball first. See, that you must remember. So why would they even go down and try to touch the ball? Because as soon as they touch the ball, the play is dead and the ball is spotted right where it's at. So it will make the play dead. That's why they try to do it. That's why these men in the white will run down there, not for possession of the ball to, to try to score uh, again on offense. The other team will get the ball. What they're trying to do is they're trying to down the ball. Now, here's the problem. If the ball is kicked by the punter and it goes out of bounds to the left side or to the right side, <coughs> that includes in, on the ground or in the air, the referees will determine where that is and they will mark the ball at, let's say, the 30-yard line if it's a bad punt and it goes out in the air to the sideline over here. If it rolls out and it goes out of bounds at the eight yard line, then the ball will be spotted at the eight yard line. Now, what's the bummer about uh, punting the ball for this team in the white? The bummer, other than the fact that they can't get possession of the ball back again to score or to drive on offense, if the ball rolls into the end zone or carries into the end zone, meaning where the goalpost is, um, 
the rule states that it will be the other team's ball, but it comes back out, not to the one yard line where it rolled in from, but it comes back out to the 20 yard line. And what you want as the kicking team is to try, the punter looks to me like he's trying here to kick the ball here and make it go out in what they call a coffin corner kick. And that means the ball rolls or goes out roughly at the one yard line, goes out at the one yard line or the one foot line, whatever, the closer to the goal line, the better. The problem is once the ball travels into the end zone, that that's called a touchback, not a touchdown, a touchback. And the ball is automatically uh, placed at the 20 yard line, unless this man right here picks it up in the end zone and doesn't take a knee. If he takes a knee, then, um, and he grabs the ball and he takes a knee, it comes out to the 20 yard line. But if he takes the ball in the end zone and tries to run it out, wherever he gets tackled is where it'll be spotted. Now you will see how these are virtual gods and how football is the culmination. American football is the culmination of all sports and all physical activities. So let's take a look. Remember, if the ball goes in to the end zone, then it will come back out to the 20. Therefore, the team in the, in the white must try to keep the ball if it's going toward the end zone, for God's sakes, don't let it go in the end zone because it'll come back out to the 20. These are called special teams and they train for this and it's not a joke. It can save the game. Um, it's not the typical style of play. A punt or a field goal are called special teams. It's outside the ordinary, basic first down, second down, third down style of play. So, you will see how incredible this effort is, and it's not by luck. They train for this, and some teams are very, very good at this, and you will see it now. Enjoy. They are. They are it. It. Bounces near the 10, chase to the end zone. Oh, two diving attempts, and they never touch the end line. Beautiful play by that special team. After unit. reviewing the play, the rule in the field stands as called. First and ten at the one yard line. So watch what happens. See this? Flips it up in the air. And another guy pulls it forward. As long as they don't step in the end zone. Absolutely incredible. Watch it one more time. There's the punt. It rolls down. Looks like it's going to go in the end zone. And this man does not touch the end zone, nor does the other guy. If you touch your foot or your knee or anything in the end zone, it is considered a touchback. The ball comes out to the 20. In this case, look. This one too. And brings it back. Notice his feet are not on the ground. Legal. And now, instead of the ball coming out to the 20-yard line, the ball is coffin corner, meaning that the offense has to start this at the one-yard line. Incredible play, and sorry about the length of this lesson. What an incredible play. We will show you another one. Uh, this one is the same one uh, with a little bit better camera angle, I think. And you'll see another one here. This is a different play. Oh! Same thing. Here's another good one right here. Here's a punt. It's heading toward the end zone to come back to the 20. Look at this play. Oh my goodness! Look at this! Uh, watch. Uh, unbelievable. One more look. Unbelievable. Remember, if your feet, any part of your body touches the end zone and you touch the ball, it goes out to the 20. 
amazing. Hope you enjoyed your first lesson on football. Bye.